Hey, I'm just kicking back with a cold one. About to fire off another amazing episode of the podcast. Once I heard about this Corona laugh track, I immediately went down to my local co-op and licked the public toilet seat. So I'm good. But it was so warm. Oh God, was it warm? But it won't be this cowman getting sick. And even if it does hit me, I want it to. I used to swim in the irrigation canal as a kid. I'm fine. I'd like Corona to try to get a piece of that action. Good luck. You'd have to roll a hard eight, my friend. And I mean a hard eight. And look, I'm sorry if uh, my daddy didn't let me drive a truck until I was 13. And I'm sorry that I never got chicken pox in. I'm sorry that I took no for an answer, and I'm sorry that I go way over all of your heads. And I'm sorry that all I've got for a troll is a point to the door. And we'll be back after a word from our sponsor. This is a moment with piece of poop. Hey everybody, P.O.P. here. So, uh, you know, I'm back again. I made a Twitter poll and everyone submitted their vote on what I should do to myself this time. And so I have Grant here with me. Grant, say hello. Hello, good to be here. Yes, this is Grant's first time since Cowman shot and killed Jason. So, uh, today I'm going to be making internet history. And I will be cryogenically freezing my nutsack. So, uh, we have whatever we need here. I don't know, Grant says that he's, uh, the guru of this kind of thing. And I was like... Well, yeah, whatever can uh, save me a dollar or two, you know, so uh, here we go. All right, Grant, if you want to just, uh, so I just put, dip them, so I just dip them in, all right, oh boy, oh boy, oh, oh, you know, this ain't, uh, you know, this ain't that bad, and you know, uh, my uh, testicles have healed, from uh, that vasectomy, which technically worked, you know, the internet, oh, whew, that is cold, uh, the internet said it wouldn't, but, uh, I can't get erections now, so, uh, that's a win in my column, <laughs> yeah, in my mind, <laughs> oh, oh, jeez, oh, okay, all right, I think that's, uh, it's setting it now, oh, yeah, it's setting it now, Oh yeah, he said no. Oh Jesus, said no. Cut the recorder. I don't want. I don't want this recorder. It's sports of yesteryear, where I interview my favorite sports stars from days back. It's crazy. I used to have these people up on posters on my walls, and I think, King King, I'll never get to meet that guy. But here I am, and King. He had the meanest left hook in the business, and an even meaner track for turning down kids who just wanted an autograph. King King. Now, Kenny, you won three heavyweight championship belts. How'd that feel? So, so, so. Right, right. That's great to what you said there. I uh, totally agree with it. Uh, how's your left hook these days? Oh, it's uh... That's great. That's great. Uh, so, when you had your comeback back in 99, did you expect to knock yourself right back into relevancy? 
No. Huh? Hey. Hey, I get it. What's the matter to me? You're an 82 year old man who got the lights beat out of him for a living. Huh? I don't expect you to have to answer my questions or to know that years back I was once a little boy who handed you a glove to sign and all you did was shake your head at me and say, white boy, you treated me like the invisible man. I'm not invisible. More like invincible. I could take you out. Anytime. Anywhere. Ooh, you were an old man, and now you're just gonna die. We'll be right back after a little word from our sponsor, Karma. Who can be a real bitch. This is, but think about it this way, a segment where it's my birthday and I'm pinning the truth on the ass of deceit. So if you're gonna show up at my party, leave me a gift card and get lost. Which is what I say about the news in general. And another thing is that I've never gotten a shit box for a present until now. I asked my neighbor Tim if he was sick and he said, Blink, could you come to my door instead of yelling at me through the wall? And I said, Tim, are you sick with Corona? And he said, Blink, come in. Let me have privacy. I, I've got a company. I said, well, it's fake as fuck, Tim. So when I sit here, that guy Fieri has got it. I go, huh? What? Excuse me? And I pour out a bottle of ketchup for the boys. Cause that's just what I do. But think about it this way. This whole thing might as well be a video of my ex-girlfriend receiving a gold shower. Where's the gold? Show me the gold. And there's never any gold. Never was, never will be. And most of all, where's the romance? Whoa, whoa. You got something to say over there, genius? That's genius with the J. And I got a J for you, Cameron. You buy a joint? Sweet. Nah. Start passing. J, cause you been jumbo lying to me, dog. And your audience. What do you know about my audience? I know they don't like getting their titties twisted. They don't like purple nurples. What do you even know, genius? I know you don't know jack shit. You don't know shit. No, you don't know jack shit. Gentlemen, this can only be settled one way. With a wrap off. I did that, yeah, I did that, yo, I did that. And I'm not into that. Oh, okay, um, what, you chicken? <laughs> Let's oh. go. Oh. I'm a cow. Oh, so, okay. All right, all right. I'm a cow. Get your popcorn ready. And cause my hands are steady. My dad's spaghetti. I'm not a white boy who can't spell with the J. And when I'm taking names, at least I spell oh, them correctly. Wow. Okay, well, here we go. I'm a mother flipping genius. <laughs> I'm a Martian. I'm a superhero. I'm Bigfoot. I'm the president. I'm a national. I'm a bridge troll. I'm grass. I'm trees. I'm air. I'm the sky. I'm clouds. I'm God. I'm genius. That's, that's not even a rap. No. Uh, you don't, you don't get it. It's my heart and soul. Oh, it's my ignorance. This has been genius. He's a neighborhood hoodlum who hangs outside the building entrance, and uh, he supposedly knows how to use a PA. So I said, uh, "You want ten bucks?" And he said twenty. So I said, "Fuck, kid! Jesus! Why don't you just take everything from me?" 
and we settle in 15. We'll be right back after a word from our sponsor. Oh, wait. Who won that one? Who told you to drink this soda? Who told you this was a delicious beverage? Who told you this wasn't battery acid in a can? Not us! Redemption Cola! Redeemed! For our final thoughts on today's edition of the Country Slaughterhouse, if you're gonna kill yourself and then you wanna tell me about it first, then you better do it. I'll hold you to it, dude. I'll keep that rain check right here in my pocket. And I'll go into the city and find my lucky pen, put it in my pocket and shake it on the mound. Because if I have learned one thing from working with Mexican men on sites undisclosed, it's that they're probably talking shit about you in Spanish. And you won't even know. I mean, they could be calling you a cracker. It could be. That's not something I can chance. So with everyone being quarantined tied up, by the government, one good thing is that there's no way any of you neighbor kids can keep in my house. Now quit ding dong ditching me. It's not funny. You know what is funny? Take a look at this. <laughs> That's a good one. This is your cowman signing off. Chill out, Chicago. Come on, now. All right, all right.